Hey, good morning, Facebook. How are you? A little early morning live for you from Montana, Jackpot Ranch here in gorgeous God's country. I'm Pete Olson. Um, I have been the top money earner, uh, number one money earner in my last two companies and uh, coach to students all over the globe for the network marketing business, the home-based business profession, and got a great live today. Um, it's, it's about the topic of thinking big, the magic of thinking big, and how it can change the course of your network marketing business, your, your home-based business. And you know, I was thinking yesterday, um, after going through uh, a book that I just finished, how small so many people think in every aspect of their life, but we'll kind of just contain it here to, um, to the network marketing biz, to your home-based business, if you will. And, you know, how we restrict ourselves in regards to how we think and thinking so small. We play so small. We think so small, right? We play in the minor leagues. We think uh, very marginally. Uh, we limit ourselves. And what, what, do I, what do I mean by that? You know, in, in regard to this business, I see so many people that uh, come in and, and, you know, they, hey, Doris, great to see you. Um, they come in and they think to themselves, well, you know, I'll kind of, I'll kind of dabble in it a little bit. I'll treat it like a, a hobby, right? They treat their business like a hobby instead of like a, a business and they get hobby paychecks. Right, they get hobby um, revenue share checks, don't they? Right, they get hobby revenue share revenue share checks. They they give a microwave effort and think very small, and they want crockpot results. Okay, they put a fifty dollar effort in, and they want a ten thousand dollar per month revenue share check. It doesn't work that way. But the problem is, is how small they think. And so many people come into the business thinking, oh gosh, um, you know, maybe I'll, I can never do that. Or, you know, if I could just, if I could just make a couple hundred extra dollars, that, that would be great. I'll just, maybe I'll bring in one person. Um, you know, may, maybe I'll go to a convention. Um, I, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. And then what happens, and I love this word, excuse-itis. The disease of excusitis comes in, and this comes from the book, which I'm going to share with you at the end. And excusitis comes in the form, in, or I should say in many, many forms. It could come in the form of time. Have you ever heard that one say, I just can't work the biz. I don't have the time. Don't have the time. Well, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, and 99% of network marketers have other full-time professions, right? What's the other, what's the other uh, big excuse, excusitis um, that people use? I'm already, man, I don't know how I could do anything else. I'm already stretched out to my limit. Or they use their health as a reason, don't they, to make an excuse. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just not feeling good. I, I just, you know, I just, I just can't get off the couch. They'll use anything, anything to self-sabotage themselves from playing bigger. Instead of thinking to win, they're thinking to lose. That's not what that's not what we're here to do, guys. If you choose. Now, I got to put a caveat on there. Some people come in as customers to a network marketing company, whatever company you may be in, whatever home-based business you may be in. Some people come in just to be customers. That's cool. Love it. That's fantastic. Glenn, good seeing you, man. You know, that's fantastic. You just come in around, you know, come in as a customer. They just want to be around the campfire. You know those people. They come in, you know, they have no intention of recruiting, but they go to all the events. They're high-fiving everybody. They're like, yeah, you know, they just, they love the energy because we have amazing people in, in uh, the home-based business industry, don't we? Amazing people from every walk of life. So I don't blame those people that, you know, they have no intention of building, but they just want to be around that essence. They want to be around the campfire. They want to be at the events. If that's that's the case, cool. But I'm talking about the people that say, you know, I would like to build up a side income. Their vision is so small. 
They think so tiny. Their goals are so small. You need to go crazy with your vision, don't you? You didn't you need to make it enormous. I love that I love that term. You need to make your vision and your goals big, audacious, hairy goals. I love that because it's kind of so out there, those words. But it really drives home the point. I love I love what David Schwartz says about, you know, when you when you make he says, write down a piece of paper how much you want to make. He said, then double it. Then double it again. Then double it again. And that's what you should be shooting for, right? Humongous goals, humongous vision. But we do all these self-sabotaging things, the excusitises, if you will, because we live in fear, right? What if I do well? I might have to get up on stage. I might have to impact other people's lives. I might have to be a great example for the for the gal that's homeless now who later would see me and become a six-figure earner. I may make so much money I can put a new roof on on the church. God, that'd be terrible. I can help the homeless man down on the corner. I can change the life of my kids. Right? I can give huge amounts of money to my local charity. See the difference in thinking big versus having that, that small vision, playing to lose versus playing to win? Huge difference. If you're going to do this, in other words, you have the intention of earning commissions, earning revenue, if you will, on a revenue share, whatever, however your system does it. Play to win. Play to win big. Right? If you're going to do it, go big. Impact more lives. It's a lot more than, than the money, but the money helps you impact so many more lives. If I'm making $500,000 a year versus $50,000 a year, I can impact a lot more lives than Joe Blow can. Can't I? Huge, huge, huge difference. Huge difference. Lance, good seeing you. So I want you to kind of change that thinking, change that attitude, change that perspective of how you look at your business. Why shouldn't you be the one on the stage? Why shouldn't you be one of the top money earners? Why shouldn't you be the one that's teaching up on stage? Why shouldn't you be the one that's doing the conference calls? Why shouldn't you be the one that has the fastest growing group in their company? Why not? Why not? Why not you? Okay? If you guys got a lot of value out of this, I have an amazing, amazing book that's going to help you think big and give you the tools necessary to think huge. And it'll literally change your life. I just finished it. It's one of the best books that I've ever read. And I like to, I, I do a lot of self-development if you guys would like the, uh, the title of that book um, and the name of the author, send me a personal message. Uh, don't put it down in the comments, but send me a personal message, whether you see this on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, whatever, and I will be sure to get that to you. Also, comment below. Let me know uh, how you like this message. Any thoughts that you have, please like and um, um, share the video. I appreciate it. God bless you guys. Have an amazing Friday, fun day today. Make a difference. Think big. I'll talk to you real soon.